Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, we're going to show you how to create subtitles in Final Cut Pro 10. Now this is great whenever you need to translate someone's words like with a foreign language speaker, babies, or mumble rappers. Now I'm going to share with you the differences between subtitles and captions in Final Cut Pro. I'm also going to show you how to create subtitles in multiple languages and how to use a familiar online platform to get automatically generated captions. Let's go check it out. All right, we're here in Final Cut Pro, but before we get too far into this, I just want to explain a difference between subtitles and captions. Subtitles are used to translate dialogue into on-screen text, often seen in foreign movies. Now captions, they display both the translated dialogue as well as referencing other audio cues on the screen. Uh, so you'll see those like uh, glass breaks and falls. So we're gonna focus on subtitles today, but you do create captions and subtitles the same way. With either one of those, I always recommend to make sure your video is done, that it's complete, that it's approved, finalized, finito, all those things. It is done, it's in the bag, it's ready to roll. Because it gets very difficult once you start changing your timeline around, uh, it, the subtitles, the closed captions that appear and connect to different clips will suddenly get goofed up um, if things start getting moved around. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is look at the index. Right over here, click on that. Go down to Edit Roles. And here you see Video and Audio Roles, but we're gonna click over to Captions. We're gonna create a new caption role. Now, if you're uploading your video online, we're gonna wanna use CEA-608. So let's create a new one here, and let's go ahead and delete the other one, just to, create, to keep things simple. All right, and we will apply that. Yep, make all those changes, yep. All right, now we can start creating our captions. So there's a couple things we can do. Uh, let's say we want the caption to start right here. We go up to Edit, Caption, Add caption. Now let's take that out of here. We're gonna show you a shortcut. You can do Alt C. And we're gonna look for our format, which is the CEA 608 right there. And, whoops, what am I saying? Let's find out. Get ahead of the game and subscribe below. Okay, so let's hear that first. Game. Get ahead of the game. Let's resize that to where that clip takes place. Get ahead of the game. Now, whenever it appears red, something's wrong. So I'm assuming it's too close to the beginning. Get ahead of the game and subscribe. Yeah, which is unfortunate because it is a very quick clip. All right, now let's create our new one here. Control C, or Alt, I'm sorry, Option C, and and subscribe below. Let's go ahead and add that whole thing here. To hear about our future videos. All right, so we can split captions by going up to the menu, edit, and bringing a, uh, that down to captions here. Uh, but the way I want to show you is the shortcut which is the longest shortcut I've ever heard of. Control, Option, Command, C. Splits those two. And it looks like... It actually was pretty close on that. Now I wanna do in subscribe below as its own thing, so we're gonna do that. And we can actually switch between these with these little arrow keys. And subscribe below to hear about our future videos. So let's say we changed our mind again, and we want to actually have these two be combined. We can right click and select join captions. That'll create one big long caption right here. Very nice. If we want to split that again, we can do that big long thing there. Subscribe below to hear about our future videos. So let's say we needed to duplicate the captions. There's a couple ways we could do this. We could select them, hold option, and drag them, or 
we can right click and duplicate captions. Now this is where we can, things can get interesting. Let's get rid of these. We are going to duplicate captions in a new language. So we're going to try this out. We're going to scroll down here to Spanish. I assume we'll just use Mexico. We're going to attempt to use Google to translate this. Translate. All right, we're going to do get ahead of the game. Yep. Copy and paste. Now, the accuracy is probably going to be way off. So just keep that in mind. And subscribe below. Copy and paste. And then let's copy and paste this here to hear about our future videos. So there are services out there that you can pay for, um, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm, I'm going to uh, go with this. So now, let me know in the comments if that worked out. <laughs> if you're finding this helpful so far, just know we release new content all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Now I've added some subtitles to help you remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notified when we release our next video. All right, now let's say we're ready to export and we are going to go up to the share icon here, export a file, subtitles test. And let's go into the settings. Uh, we've got our basic options there. And let's say we want to export the captions. So we can actually choose to embed it. Looks like one's already set to embed the English version. So in here with the embed, you can actually embed a different caption set if you'd like. In this case, the uh, Spanish, you could switch it to that one. Um, and then you can also burn in captions. So if you'd like to have captions just appear on your video all the time, have it baked in, then you can do that. A lot of people nowadays will, be, will, will watch videos without any sound. So if you wanna capture their attention, you wanna make sure to put captions into your videos and burning them in might just be the best option for you. We can also export each of the CEA 608 languages as separate files, which is really helpful when we're trying to make sure that our um, online video has multiple options for closed captions. All right, let me just click next. I'll go ahead and save that there. And that is being shared. So you can see here, these three uh, files were created. We have the video, and we have the two subtitles. And these subtitles can be uploaded into say your YouTube uh, video file so that it will expand the capabilities of that closed caption on your video. Now let's say, oh no, we don't have captions on this. We can actually go up to file, import, captions, and we can find those, look at those right there, boom, boom. And just like that, we got our captions imported. So let's say we have a new timeline and we have a video that we want to bring in that has captions embedded into it. So we know that this one does here that we just made the test video of. So in the corner there, we can see that there's that speech bubble icon. That means there are captions hidden, caption treasures inside of this clip. I'm gonna right click and down at the bottom, we'll see extract captions. And boom, they pop right up there. Now the last thing I want to show you is a really cool trick uh, which if you have, let, let's say you have a really long video, you have a lot of different words spoken in that video, and you don't want to take the time to type out every word, you can upload a video privately to YouTube, which is what we've done right here, is given enough time, as you see, I just re re refreshed it. Okay, so given enough time, YouTube will create some automatic subtitles. Let's click on duplicate and edit, and we're going to go ahead and publish. And here on this published subtitle, we're gonna click on options, download the SRT. So now that we've got that, let's head on over here and 
we can import captions. We're here in the downloads, captions SRT. And boom, it imported that caption for us. And then from there, we just edit that, make that what we need it to be. And we did it. Thanks, YouTube. Right on. Now that you've learned how to create subtitles in Final Cut Pro, I've made another video about how to add text to video in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.